Hello, Dr. Meenakshi. I have a case for you. Oh, sure. What is the age and the gender of the patient? She's a 13-year-old girl. Where is the patient now? She's in the emergency room. Oh, my God. Okay. What are the presenting complaints? She came to us with intractable thigh and hip pain. Okay. Which side? Both the sides, in fact. Okay. Can you tell me more about the pain? The pain initially began two days back, but the pain has been worsening with every passing hour since then. Any treatment initiated as of now? Yes, we did try to give her acyclofenac, but there was absolutely no relief of pain. Okay, any history of trauma or fall? Absolutely none, but she did say that the pain started spontaneously when she ascended a hill station rapidly. Uh, can you give me any additional information? She does complain of a lot of fatigue and she has poor physical stamina. She's afebrile, but she has pallor. Okay, what lab investigations have run till now? Her hemoglobin is 5 gram per deciliter. But her RBC count is elevated to more than 15,000 per microliter. Okay. Is hemoglobin electrophoresis done? Not yet, Dr. Meenakshi. What are you suspecting? I am suspecting sickle cell anemia. And I would like to see hemoglobin S level spike elevated in the electrophoretic pattern. And because NSAIDs were given to the patient, but there was no relief for the patient. So it is obviously not inflammatory kind of pain. I suspect vaso-occlusive crisis because this patient might be having sickle cell anemia and this patient had the pain becoming very severe and started when she was ascending a hill station. So that is indicative of hypoxia. Hypoxia triggers sickle cell crisis. That is why I would request you to run hemoglobin electrophoresis to confirm. I will do that. Thank you so much, Dr. Minakshi. You're welcome.